Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of Reason Tips with me, Cautious. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to reverse different sounds in Reason. For example, sounds like this. To sounds like this. To sounds like this. Stay tuned if you're interested. Let's go. Alright then guys, as you can see, I've got a blank template of Reason open. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to my desktop and just get a basic WAV file. Okay then, so now we want to know how we can reverse this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in the window with the WAV file and I'm going to go to where it says reverse clip. Okay, so I click it and press play again. Very straightforward, very, very basic, not hard at all. Okay. Uh, let's listen to the original. Okay, and here's the uh, reversed one. Sounds different, doesn't it? Very good. Okay, then, so moving on from now, I want to show you guys how to reverse slices in the Dr. Octo Rex loop player. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click in the rack section and go to instruments and create a Dr. Octo Rex loop player. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press run. Okay, you get the logist of that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on these different slices along here. In this one, I think I've got 16 slices and I'll play you the original. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click on the first slice and click on the reverse button where it's got REV and it says off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move it upwards till it says on. And I'll play you what that first slice does being reversed. You get that? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to keep playing around with it. So why don't I try every three slices, reverse it. Okay then, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to right click and go to Ductop Top Rex Loop Player again and this time I'm going to try reverse an instrument itself. So I'm going to go to the Reason Factory Sound Bank and go to Dr. Rex Instrument Loops. See what it sounds like. <laughs> Okay, that's the original. So we open up the uh, Dr. Octo Rex Loop Player programmer and I'm going to reverse the first slice just to see what that sounds like. Run it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to reverse the fifth clip, see what that sounds like. All 
Alright then guys, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you guys how to reverse stuff in the NNXT Advanced Sampler. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click in the rack section, go to instruments and then click on NNXT Advanced Sampler. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to the guitar section. They seem to have a lot of sustain in the instruments itself. So I'm going to go to guitar and just click anyone at random to be honest with you. So let's say I go to guitar MIDI. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to record it in. Make sure you have the pre-click and the normal click on if you want to count yourself in and get the timing right. Okay then, so here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click on the guitar in the sequencer where it's got the little icon. It says, for my example, guitar MIDI, and I'm gonna click on the NNXT in the sequencer. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click and go to duplicate and the reason why I'm duplicating this is because when I reverse it I will have to create another device to show you the original anyway so I'm going to take this off solo and then I'm going to open up the remote editor in the NNXT I'm going to highlight as many WAV files as I can in the NNXT so as you can see, they're slightly highlighted and I'm going to click on the play mode button and above the play mode button, by default, you would see this thing that says FW, which means forwards. And now I'm going to move it up until it says BW, which means backwards. So have a listen, guys. Okay, sounds good, doesn't it? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play the original. And here's the reversed one. Alright then guys, just a quick advice tip for those of you who uh, would like to prefer to use the NNXT to reverse things in Reason. Um, please make sure that when you go to reverse your instruments or you select an instrument for the NNXT to re be reversed, make sure that it doesn't sound choppy, like dup 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 dup. Make sure it's very sustaining, like strings, electric guitars, electric pianos, Make, make sure it's very sustaining, otherwise you won't really hear the massiveness effect with the reverse. Otherwise it'll be just very choppy and practically sound almost the same. And that looks like it's it. Alright then guys, I'd like to thank you for watching this tutorial on how to reverse things in Reason. I hope you guys will like to use this method of what I've shown you in the future to come. If you have any thoughts or anything that you're not unsure about, you can leave it in the comment section down below. If you have any thoughts on what my next episode should be, you can contact me at cautious.96 and just leave the subject as next lesson idea. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and I'll see you in the next episode.